This would definitely like. Oh my god. I'm so excited to do this divine masculine divine feminine unit union update because it's carrying me into a series that I would like to start about, you know, your individual journey um, of unification of your divine masculine, divine feminine energies. A lot of people feel like, or there are lots of people who feel like they are on a twin flame journey and relationship, but their focus is only on the partnership. And that just indicates to me, if you're a person who feel like you're on a divine partnership or a twin flame journey, but you're not Focusing on your individual divine masculine and divine feminine energies innate in you. Um, because the first union is union with yourself. I believe that you you won't go into full union. You won't go into partnership and um, secured a secured union with their twin flame, with their divine partner, whoever that may be. And I have um, my theories on that too. So at first, I'm thinking, you know, I was thinking it was just like one person and pre pre selected before we're here, but I don't think that's the case anymore. I do think we have a choice in the matter, and our divine partner is um, not saying we don't have previous or past life or connections and spirit, but I think it's who your higher self chooses. And once your higher self and you chooses the same person and their higher self and lower self chooses the same person, it comes into union. But you don't get there to, you don't get to a place of choosing the same partner as your higher self until you become one with your higher self. So I'm excited about, this is going to be a twin flame update for the collective, for the external partnership, meaning you and someone else. But my individuals for like the signs is going to be twin flame uni union updates for yourself. Where you are in the unification process of unifying with your own higher self, your higher and your lower self. Um, both of them are equal, you know, it's just labels that we label the higher, you know, the, the material form, divine masculine, and the spiritual form, divine feminine. But, you know, um, that's the most important partnership, the one you have with yourself and becoming one with yourself. But anyway, I'm going to be using... Chakra wisdom oracle cards. I'm gonna do this a bit different. I'm gonna pull three and then I'm gonna clarify it with tarot. And use my numerology, geometry, whatever comes to me, my intuitive message, as well as some, you know, um, standard definitions, of course, but also intuitive guidance and messages for it all. Ooh, the first one we got is completion. How dope is that? How dope is that? This is for, this is a, all oh, bottom of the deck is a miracle. How freaking dope. Uh, when I saw this prayer card, I knew it was going to come out. I knew it. Um, so we have completion, prayer, and isolation. The isolation card says isolation, but I'm not getting that. It means isolation. It could be an end to isolation. Then we have miracle on the bottom of the deck. Completion prayer and miracle. I'm going to clarify these with um, tarot cards. Uh, right away deck. I feel like I was seeing something. Tell me I'm right. Yeah. Oh, I was saying that um, this is a... Interesting. The card just fell out, and I'm just gonna take them. So we have the Nine of Swords for completion. We have the High Priestess for prayer, and we have the Page of Swords. Hmm. For isolation, Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. We are fighting for this miracle. Anyway, this is a general message. If you like a private reading for your personal situation, the link is in my description. I'm so excited to do this collective update. You may or may not resonate with it. It's good to see what's happening in the collective, though. Um, let me read these cards, take some notes, see what this is. And then the number 92, I want to look up that number. 
Um, number nine is the number for divine blessings and divine gifts and divine spirits. And two is the number for union and, and balance. So this could have something to do with using your gifts and becoming balanced within yourself. But anyway, let me look over this. So while I look over this, watch this brief video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Be right back. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well if you want to manifest a new job if you want to manifest a new car if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals I'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you Good luck and peace. I love this update, guys. Like, this is a dope reading. Whoever resonates with this, this is so dope for you. I'm so happy for you. So let me get into it. So the bottom of the deck energy, we have the Knight of Swords coupled with the Miracle card. Basically, this is saying there is no stopping. A miracle is on the way and there is no stopping it. Like with the Knight of Swords, nobody is getting in the way of this miracle. Nothing, no one is getting in the way of this miracle that's going to bring you two together. Um, it's a miracle. And there is, what is the saying? Nobody can stop God's plans. I love that because it's true. Like there is no stopping this. There is no stopping this unification. There is no stopping God's plans. And it's on the way. A miracle is on the way. And that's the overall energy. This miracle is going to happen. And there is no stopping it. And then we have for the first couple, the completion card. Oops, sorry. We have the completion card coupled with the nine of swords. This is basically saying, this is attuning to completion of a phase. And with completion of a phase, you have endings of others. So, you know, it can be a bit uncomfortable. Um, but the energy of the completion card brings calm to this ending. So what I'm getting, though, is the nine of swords energy is all in your mind it's like um because the the completion card also brings it's saying that a phase is ending um but it's bringing calm to it it says something is taking place outside of your comfort zone so step into the emotional grace of completion step into the emotional grace of the divine you know and it's no drama and grace there is no drama only resolution so it's basically saying if there is drama it's in your mind you know because you're, you're stepping out of your comfort zone so or you may need to step out I don't know if this is happening for you already or will happen for you I, you know everybody is not on the same phase at the same time but I I know that I can that I resonate with this only because I'm being forced to to do something i'm being forced to step into the unknown i have my own tower moment as well and completion going on as well that's forcing me to step out of my comfort zone and yes for the past week it was all in my mind literally all in my mind i didn't know it at the time because you're going through the emotions because you have to come out of your comfort zone and comfort is complacent comfort is comforting and you can get complacent in your comfort zone so sometimes you know we have this nine of swords energy we have this agony when we have to leave things behind that makes us uncomfortable but we have to leave it behind in order for this phase to be completely but know that it's resolution resolution is coming you know no drama only resolution and new beginnings and better places so 
This completion is going to bring you two together. This completion is going to create a new phase in your individual life that opens the door for unification. Then I wanted to look up the number 92 because you have the nine of swords and you have the high priestess and it is 92. And what I came up with is from Joanne's um, Sacred Scribes. And it's saying, if you've experienced loss, it's being replaced with something better. That goes hand in hand with the um, completion card in the Nine of Swords because when you are complacent or when you're comfortable and you have to leave behind something to step into the unknown, to step into an uncomfortable phase in your life of completion, um, it calls for you to leave stuff behind. But know that whatever loss you're experiencing is only opening the door for better things. It's not like you're going to lose it and go down. You, you're going to release it and go up and trust in the divine and trust in the universe that what is happening is for you, not to you. Then we have the prayer and the high priestess. Ooh. Prayer and the high priestess goes hand in hand. This is basically saying... When this happens, original inquiries and thoughts are inspired. What did, when you started your twin flame process or when you began a twin flame journey, what did you think then? Maybe they're saying, attune to those thoughts because I know that when we get along the journey, we change those. I know I've changed mine. I'm like, well, you know, this. I still think this person is in twin flame, but it's, also, you know, other people into your life and then, you know, things happen. But... Attune to your highest self. What are your highest thoughts? What is your intuition? What were, you, what were your original thoughts? Attune to that. But also, face the truth. Face the truth with an open mind. Surrender to the divine and the higher calling. Surrender to the process. Collaborate with the universe and be open-minded. Let go of control. <laughs> Sometimes we want to control the outcome. Sometimes we want to control the process, but what's best for us sometimes in these unknown periods and these completions and endings and new beginnings and stepping out of our comfort zone and is to step into grace. And when you step into grace, you step into the divine. You step into things you cannot control, knowing that God is on your side, knowing that the divine, the universe is on your side and things are happening for your highest good. So it's calling for you when this happens, when this transition um, happens and you know things start happening in your life the new phase the, end, the you know one phase is ending and another is beginning it's calling you to trust in the divine surrender to the divine surrender to grace know that you can relinquish control and trust in the universe you may even have to meditate and pray you know um yeah like I, I am one of the most, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I am the, you know, I'm resilient. And when I get to a point where I'm crying over things that are ending because my comfort is being tested and my comfort is being taken away, the best of us, it happens to the best of us. So you just have to pray. You have to meditate. And when I'm in a space like that, I do multiple readings on myself, daily readings, multiple times a day sometimes. And I read them because I need that motivation, because I need that meditation. I meditate on the words that I get. You know, I need that to get through. So whatever you need to do, whether it's meditating, praying, both, do that to get you through this uncomfortable period. Um, but no, it's grace. It's leading you to something better. Then we have the isolation card and the page of swords. There is going to be some communicating going on. You are going to be taken out of this period of isolation if you are truly on a twin flame journey. You, there is some isolation involved in it. It just is what it is. You're going to experience isolation. It's, you have to, there is no way around it. You know, you may have people around you, but it's still isolation um, because now not everybody understands this journey and not, not everybody understands your particular situation in your journey. So there is some isolation, but know that um, you're about to come out of that. Yep. There's going to be, you guys are going to be sharing ideas. You're going to be unifying, communicating, um, accum accumulating wealth. Um, experiencing togetherness and growth and experiencing each other. I'm getting new experiences and, and new ideas and sharing ideas and communicating on another level and communicating with each other and, and understanding each other and 
on new levels, new levels of understanding, new levels of unity, new levels of thought. Oh, that's a beautiful fly. Uh, looks like a butterfly or moth or something outside of my window. How beautiful. But anyway, this is sharing ideas. This is communicating uh, excitedly, though, like very excitedly. Uh, look at that soup. That's, you know, that could attune to togetherness and unity and is maybe even marriage for some people. But this is showing growth, togetherness, um, and ending your period of isolation, of being in the world of alone and being in this journey alone. Maybe this new phase is ending you, uh, whoever you are, divine masculine, and divine, whoever you relate as, you know, we have both energies innate in you. But the ending of you being um, alone this period, this 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 taking of your comfort, this pushing you out into your, uh, pushing you out of your comfort zone is leading you to union. You cannot make this. So, I pulled it from, I pulled the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords and the Miracle card from the bottom of the deck, and guess what I get? Two of Cups. Forgiveness. Two of Cups and Forgiveness. Man, maybe this communication is going to lead you to forgiveness. It's going to lead you to new levels of understanding of each other and call for you to forgive each other. Uh, one more than the other, probably. <laughs> but it's going to bring you two together. This process, this is all bringing you two together. And it's a miracle that cannot be stopped. You two being together is a miracle. A twin flame a true twin flame relationship is a is it's a miracle. You cannot describe that is no other word that can better describe a twin flame relationship. It's a miracle. One because who is walking around as one with their higher self? Now is there, there is there is not a lot of people the um in culture and in, in you know what do you want to call it? the mass the majority of people are not walking around unified with their higher self. If that was the case, the world will innately be a better place, inevitably. But you are. If you're on a twin flame journey, and truly you are, first of all, you're on one with yourself, and you're becoming one with your higher self, and then you connect with someone else who is also rare, becoming one with their higher self, and y'all coming together as one with God, with the divine, as God on earth, with the almighty God. That's a miracle, boo. That is a miracle. And there is no stopping this miracle from, ha from happening, especially if you're working on yourself, especially if you're working on unifying yourself and you're truly on a twin flame journey. Anyway, that is the end of this reading. I want to make it very quick um, for you. But this is, that's dope. Um, this is dope. The miracle is on the way and there is no stopping it. I'm going to name this that. You are a miracle and there is no stopping you. Your unification, your you and your partner are miracles. There is no stopping his unification. There is no stopping you as a miracle. And there is no stopping him as a miracle or her as a miracle. And there is no stopping you two coming together. I wish you both the best of luck. Um, I hope this helps. If you would like a private reading, click the link in my description. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you relate to this. I love you. Peace. This would definitely